Generations of novelists, playwrights, artists and poets have found inspiration in the places and landscapes that they lived and worked. The National Trust now care for many of these special places. This is one of my favourite places to walk because not only have you got fantastic views, you can really stride out and sort of get a good pace going. It's a spectacular bit of countryside with beautiful views, it's, it's wonderful. It always makes me wonder if that's why Hardy became a writer, was all this walking that he was doing back then just gave him that time to sit apart from everything and reflect. If you go up to Rushy Pond and there's a little bench there, you can sit and watch the, the water rippling in the sunshine and that's where I like going if I just need to kind of read Hardy in context and then occasionally you get the wild ponies walking up as well, which is lovely. As a literature student, Visiting National Trust places gives me endless inspiration when I'm writing and studying. The aura of his books was there. It was such a moving place to be and has stayed with me ever since. So if you want to explore the childhood home of Thomas Hardy, follow in the footsteps of Mr Darcy, or go on an adventure with the famous five, there's sure to be a walk to suit you. Just remember to pack a book or a pen and pencil. There's no doubt you'll be inspired.